hello friends welcome to today's video if you're new here my name is rachel welcome if you're either watching from my personal channel or from scrapbook nerd happy to have you here i hope you'll click the subscribe button today we are doing a project life spread and this might be one of my favorite project life spreads i've done in a really long time i love how it turned out um and i love this collection this collection is simple stories my story and i'm a big reader i love books i love to read maybe i'll talk about a few today if we have time um so in this spread i have some um photos of books photos of us eating out all that good stuff so i thought that fit in well for this collection and yeah so we're getting into it i have the ephemera pack i have the floral pack i have the six bait paper pad i love that ephemera by the way i have the sticker book and then i have the foam stickers and i've already used this collection lots so it nothing in here is new by any means but i still have lots left to work with so i'm kind of going to make my own little card there i love that pattern paper that has the bookshelves on it i think that's so cute and it looks very similar to my bookshelves that i have in my craft room um and you can kind of see them in the left hand bottom row photo there so um if you haven't watched one of my videos lately i'm documenting i'm currently up to january and february of 2022 so i'm very behind but that's where i'm at it is what it is um and at this point i was reading seven husbands of evelyn hugo i mean if you're on um book talk you know and then Darling Rose Gold, is it called, um, was another book I read that my sister-in-law gave me for Christmas that year. So I think that was one of the first books of the year that I read, and it was a really good book. They both were fantastic books. Love Seven Husbands. Um, I'm sure many of you have read that book. It's very popular, so let me know if you have. Let me know what books you've read that you love. Sorry, I was trying to adjust this here so you could see the whole thing. But um, yeah, let me know what books you love. Um, top photo is um on procreate i was kind of fooling around a bit and then the rest is remy sleeping by candle and looking adorable and going out for breakfast and all the things so um those are the photos there and um so i chose my cards and then i decided to use a label in the bottom right hand corner and then i wanted to mirror that in the top left hand corner and we're going to try and do that where we're mirroring or using things in multiple places stuff like that and i didn't have a foam sticker that i wanted to use in the top left so i just got one of the circle stickers and, and put it up on foam and to kind of mimic it there and did the same pink color so i'm going to start um by embellishing all of the uh, cards or as many cards as i embellish and then i'm going to add enamel dots after um, because I could have gone crazy with enamel dots and added them on every single card, but I figured, why don't I wait till the end, and then I can decide where I want them to go, like the three cards that I want to do, to make sure that you're kind of looking all around the page. So, that's what I'm doing, and, um, let's talk about books and what I'm reading. By the way, this, uh, video is obviously for scrapbook nerds, so I'll have them linked down below if you want to check out these products, this collection, they ship international, so, um, go get your hand on some of the, hands on these fun collections. So, disclaimer, I am recording this, um, voiceover on September 1st, so I've probably read a few books by the time this video goes up. But um, let's talk about um, some of my favorite books of the year. So I have my Goodreads here. You can come join me over on Goodreads if you want. But I love to read. I've only read, as again of September 1st, I've only read 24 books this year. So um, I mean, it's good. It's better than further along than last year. But um, I'm not like a super fast reader. I'm a pretty slow reader. Um, anyway, I'm going to go uh, just look through my list of books and point out a few of my favorite books that I've read and talk a little bit about them. I loved Verity. I'm a big thriller book reader, so love Verity. It's, um, I'm sure, again, if you're on Book Talk, you know Colleen, H Colleen Hoover and this book, um, but it's about this woman who is a struggling writer, but she gets like an offer to um, basically finish writing 
uh, books for best-selling author Verity, and who has been a, had an accident and is sick and injured and unable to finish the books. Um, and so she moves in with the family, and it's very interesting from there. That's all I'll tell you. It, it was so, so good. It is a little creepy. So if you're not into that, then there's that. But wow, I only got to one book. Okay, I'll, I'll quickly mention a few others. Vanishing Half, Fantastic, Every Summer After by Carly Fortune, Canadian author. Um, there's just a few. Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang, amazing books. Let me know your favorite books down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.